Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Coming to you live and raw. <laughs> this video is just going to be another like day in the life type of vlog. Um, I put Vinny down for a nap a little while ago, so I'm actually gonna try to hurry up and do a face mask and wash my hair because clearly. I deal mostly with hormonal breakouts and then I always have lots of hyperpigmentation after those breakouts are over. And so you can see that majority of my breakouts are always like along my chin. I've kind of always broken out in that area, like my forehead and my cheeks generally will stay clear. However, I want to, like I don't currently have any active breakouts and I'm trying to fade these um, I'm trying to fade these marks. The most important thing is finding products that work well with like preventing new hyperpigmentation from forming or at least getting as dark as it does get, but also fading like what I currently have. So I've kind of like stopped really um, physically exfoliating. Like I'll use a scrub maybe once every two or three weeks but I try to use like chemical exfoliants, um, products that have like some lightning factors and features in them. So I've been using this mask by Gleaming for the last like maybe three weeks or so. I was trying to use it about every other day. It says you can use it to like two to three times a week. Um, I kind of fell off in the last couple of days, but <laughs> I'm going to use it today. And what I love about it is that it has vitamin C in it. And vitamin C is like something that I really started incorporating into my skincare a couple of years ago because it does a really good job of evening the skin tone and making it look more bright. Um, but this also has turmeric in it and aloe, which is very... Um, nice for fading and calming and being like antibacterial like it has some amazing properties to it It smells so good. Just like really fresh a little bit of spice in it um, You can see here that I've clearly been using it a lot um, And it came with this teeny tiny little brush here to apply it with it has a really like nice cooling um, Effect to it when you put it on so I just put it on and I let it dry Generally, I'll wait like a couple of minutes and then I'll hop in the shower and do what I got to do. And by the time I'm done doing all the things in the shower, it's time to like rinse it off and it's dried and it doesn't get very hard um, like some masks can get. So it's definitely not going to dry the skin out. And it does take some time to um, see results of like fading any... Um, hyperpigmentation it's not going to work instantaneously so I've been trying to do I did a before picture um, which I can insert now and then maybe once I finished up the entire jar come back and show you exactly my final final results it's definitely all about being consistent if you're not consistent in your skincare routine which I am definitely guilty of um, then you're not going to see like the most beneficial results and I like to apply it everywhere it doesn't um, sting or burn so I think it would be great if you have a very sensitive skin I don't so don't quote me on that I will say that you want to make sure you rinse it off very, very well because it could leave a little bit of like a yellow residue on any light colored towels. Now when I wash them, I don't have a problem with it coming out, but just be mindful of that. I will leave all the info about Gleaming in the description bar, so be sure to check it out. Now I'm just going to hop in the shower and shampoo my hair as well as deep condition it. I washed it and deep conditioned it like last week, but I never styled it, so it still just has deep conditioner in it, which... May not be the best for me, but here we are. Um, so I'm actually going to try a new deep conditioner and it's like a, I don't want to talk about it just yet because it's my first time trying it. I'm excited to try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I got some samples. So I have a deep conditioning co-wash, which I really don't use co-wash. So I'm going to shampoo my hair and then I'll use this because I need to cleanse the scalp. And then I have a clay hair mask that I'm going to try. And if I end up liking these, then I will feature them in a another video so I will see you guys in just a bit okay so 
finally out of the shower three hours later. Um, but I feel like using, I, like I said, I know it takes time to see um, results of skincare quite often, especially when you're trying to like lighten hyperpigmentation, but I do feel like my skin looks brighter every single time that I use it. I don't know if that's just because I wash my face or if it's actually like doing what it's supposed to be doing. But I do really enjoy how it feels going on. I like the ingredients, I like how it smells, I like how it feels, I like how my skin looks after I finish using it. So I will continue to do it. I'm just going to make sure I try to stay more consistent and use it like three times a week at least. And once I finish that jar completely, I'll come back and show you kind of like the progress of where we are. And then also the hair products I really enjoyed. Um, let me see, I'm gonna style my hair in just a moment here, um, but I'm gonna take it down so we can see like what it looks like after I did. Cause the detangling co-wash had a little bit of protein in it and then the clay mask was like for moisture. So anytime I can do protein with moisture at the same time, that's my jam. I'll be back in a second. I gotta get somebody up. What? what you eating? Vinny, what are you eating? You eating veggie straws? Yeah, so I like to have a snack when I wake up from lunch. I mean, <laughs> so I like to have a snack after I wake up from my nap. Because I wake up hungry. And I like veggie straws. I got cool jammies on too. So mama got me these cool safari jammies. With the short sleeves so I can nap and not get hot in the summer. Say hi. You say hi, Vinny. Okay, I'll let you enjoy your snack. So while he is enjoying his snack and watching Vampirina, I'm gonna see if I can quickly style my hair. <laughs> Gotta bribe the kids, we're at that point. Hi everyone. It is much later, much later in the day. And I needed to get out of the house. <laughs> because it's like 64 degrees outside and Somebody had a spell where he was throwing the wildest tantrum. And I couldn't figure out what he wanted if I like um, turned on one of his favorite shows. He wasn't having it. I tried to read him a book. He wasn't having it. He was not wet. He had just woken up from his nap. I had just given him a snack. He had his water and uh, I picked him up. He still wasn't having it. I went downstairs, decided I'd go ahead and just give him lunch early. Wasn't having it. So then I finally just walked out into the screened in porch and sat on one of like our little patio rocker chairs and he calmed down. So I don't know if he just needed some fresh air and some sunshine, but he calmed down and he sat in my lap for about five minutes <laughs> before he decided to get down and explore um, and then he was fine so he was just in a mood and mama hasn't had any coffee today and it's three o'clock so I realized I had uploaded like a little bit of money onto a Dunkin Donuts account a while ago and I haven't had Dunkin Donuts coffee in forever that used to be like my jam and then it was just too inconsistent because it's like I'm not gonna say Starbucks is like that much better, but it's ridiculously more consistent um, as far as the drinks go, because I think they actually like train folks <laughs> and invest in maybe their employees a little bit more or so. Um, but I wanna try um, some, like Duncan does like blueberry syrup and I love blueberry. It's like one of my favorite flavors to put in coffee if they have it um so i'm gonna get that i don't know if i want a hot drink or cold drink since it's so warm um but we'll see but i'm also going to go to um once upon a child it is a like children's consignment shop and i've gone there before and gotten Vinny some clothes um not that he really needs anything but like summer's coming up and he doesn't have any um, summer clothes that are like size 2T. I think I bought him one set of two little outfits from like Marshalls or so. Um, but I just want to go and see if they have anything new. Um, cause generally the stuff is pretty nice there. Most of it's name brand and it's very inexpensive, like under $6 for each piece or so. 
So I'm gonna do that, go there first, and then get my drink. And then by the time I get back home, it'll be time to get somebody up from their nap and maybe we can take a walk and then he'll be in a good mood since it's so nice out. Um, so I'll see if I can do a little vlogging inside of the, um, the store when I get there. Okay, for some reason it's always, it's hard to vlog in, if you're not used to vlogging in public, it's awkward. And then with the pandemic, it's even more awkward. And then when it's a small store and there's like no music hardly playing and you're like the only one in there shopping, it's awkward. First of all, let's talk about how I walked up in there without my mask on looking like an anti-masker. And I was like, wait, something's weird. <laughs> walk back out and when I came back she was like thank you and I'm like yeah I had a brain fart um so anyway I feel like I racked up I spent 30 31 dollars and 10 cents and I got like what one two three four five six seven eight <gasps> eight things and I think I don't know if she didn't charge me for one of them because it was like a two-piece set and it had two tickets on it but it looks like she only rang up one <laughs> score um so i'm gonna show you all the stuff that i got so i got this cute little shirt by carter's and this is actually 24 months but it looks huge i definitely think he'll be able to wear this like well through the summer it's blue um with white stripes something like a little bit dressier and it was only $3.50. So definitely not to go with it, but just some cute little shorts that are striped. These are Cat and Jack, two tees. Everything is a two tee except for that one shirt there. Um, and this was $3.50 as well. And then I saw this little yellow t-shirt by Baby Gap. And some of their t-shirts look worn and faded, so you gotta like search through everything, but this one looked pretty cute. And I love the color. This was $3.50 as well. I got these little shorts. He could probably wear these shorts with it. Just some blue shorts. These are Cat and Jack as well, 2T. And they were 350. I think most of everything I got was 350. And I got, like all the shorts kind of look the same, like just little drawstring waist cargo shorts. These are also Cat and Jack, <laughs> probably 350, yep. And I thought this shirt was so cute. I thought he could wear this with those shorts. And this is 24 months as well. Like some 24, it depends on the brand. Cause some 2T stuff, 24 month stuff is like, some of the 24 month stuff is bigger than the 2T things. Um, but this is so cute with these little animals. And I love these pastel colors, 350 as well. And I got him these little swim trunks. Cause these are the cutest. They have little pineapples on them. Uh, Cat and Jack probably as well, right? Yep. <laughs> Uh, 350 and then this is the little two-piece set that I saw and I guess it's never been worn because it still has the original tags on it but it's these shorts and I didn't really like the shorts are nothing like special but I love this like chambray top and this looks huge it's two these things look huge you probably it'll probably be like June before he can fit into this or who knows but it had a tag on both the top and the bottom that said 450 but she only rang it up for one piece because it was hanging on the same hanger together so if you didn't look you wouldn't know but that's everything i got but i ordered a oat milk latte with blueberry like flavoring and like french vanilla sweetener it's weird dunkin donuts is weird because there's like 
you can add like you have your syrup the blueberry is unsweetened no no sugar but the vanilla the french vanilla is like sweetened and then you can add sweetener on top of it like sugar or stevia or, or whatever you want so i didn't add any of that so hopefully just the french vanilla is sweet enough by itself so let's go in here and see if it's ready because i ordered it when i was leaving the other store and it's like right down the street so let's let's see if it's ready and then we'll do a taste test they had it ready when i got in there it smells sweet <laughs> i think i got whipped cream on it too all right i've never had oat milk so i hope that that doesn't like really mess up the drink for me it doesn't feel very hot either it's definitely sweet enough not bad I could taste the blueberry it definitely doesn't taste like almond milk I can't tell that it's not cow's milk and I've heard that almond um, I've heard oat milk is the closest thing to cow's milk of the non-dairy ones so that's actually really good I probably would even get one less i think they put three of those french vanilla shots in there or whatever pumps i probably because that's the standard size for the medium i probably would even get two and make it a little bit less sweet but the blueberry is like really good mm, that's good back again hi you say hi you be shy so we just got back from taking a walk outside and i forgot to bring the camera I need to, I guess the more you vlog, the more you remember to bring the camera. Um, but now he just has about, he just has about 15 minutes before bedtime. Um, so we picked up some new toothpaste. I got the Toms with fluoride because the pediatrician told me to get toothpaste with fluoride because we have been brushing his teeth with the Tom's training toothpaste, which is fluoride free. Um, it's for ages like three to 24 months, but still just been noticing like a lot of what looks like plaque on his teeth. Come on out, come on out. Come on out, please. Thank you. <clears throat> still just kind of been noticing a bunch of plaque on his teeth and I know if we take him to the dentist right now, um, which he, the pediatrician recommended to go ahead and make an appointment just so he can kind of like get used to going to the dentist. But I know good and well, if he goes to the dentist right now, they are not even going to try to clean his teeth, nor will he even let them try to clean his teeth at this age. I don't even think he would sit in the chair, <clears throat> but I think it's just to like introduce yourself and get familiar. Um, but have some laundry in the wash like my towels like cleaning towels that I need to get out and put in the dryer Vinny come from around there please come back thank you and then it will be bedtime for him we also stopped doing a bath every single night because he was having a little bit of dry skin oh oh be careful so yeah I was having some dry skin breakouts so the pediatrician said that we didn't need to bathe him every night unless he got dirty. So he got a bath, a good bath last night. So I scrubbed that booty and washed that hair last night. <laughs> so he'll just get a um, hoe bath tonight. Just a little, little wet rag on the face and the groin real quick without getting in the tub. And then I think we're going to do like a Mongolian beef and rice tonight. I don't know, I found this recipe on Pinterest and I um, sent it to Vince because normally like one of us puts him down and the other one will make dinner. And I'll just like find a recipe and send it, text it to him um, so he can make it that night. But um, just have to do that. And that's about it. I have like, three or four 
vlogs in the queue to be edited just like different things clips to put into vlogs and I need to do it I need to stop being like I want to say it's lazy but then I'm like I do need to rest because I do work outside of the home and we do take care of our son 24 7 since he's not in daycare so that is another job and so quite often I just chill during his nap time or I run around and get errands done but I do need to edit these vlogs so I can start being more consistent Whew, it's just all about being consistent right yeah all right um so I don't know I'll probably just go ahead and end the vlog here I don't think I had anything else to show you guys <laughs> it's kind of just like random footage of the last two days oh and in case I decided to make that me doing my hair the other day into like a uh, wash and wear Wednesday of its own these are the results of using the um, curl smith in style shower fixer something like that these are the results I feel like it gave me a lot of like length didn't shrink my hair at all okay. anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to thumbs this video up um, Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys in the next one. You wanna say bye? Can you wave bye? Wave bye bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>